up, YouTube? Uh, I've decided to redo my jailbreaking video just because I realized that it's kind of unorganized. So I'm going to uh, probably delete the original jailbreak videos, the eight parts. I'm going to uh, remake them in several separate parts just to keep it more organized. So, uh, but first off, I'm going to sh since I'm going to restore my iPod to show you how to do that, I'm going to first show you how to downgrade from 1.1.4. So the first thing you're going to do, take your iPod Touch and plug it into the USB cable. and your iPod Touch will turn on and you can just set it to the side and then once your iPod comes on or turns on, iTunes should pull up okay so as you can see iTunes pulled up and so what you can do come over to your iPod and there's a couple things you gotta make sure of first off don't do this unless you're on either firmware 1.1.4 or 1.1.3. For the other firmwares, you can just go into restore mode and shift click restore. And I might have a video on how to do that if I have time. But uh, so that's you got to be on 1.1.4. Make sure that your iPod is turned on, ready to go. And so now just exit out of iTunes. Leave your iPod. Don't eject your iPod. Just exit out of iTunes. Now go to this link which I will give you in the description of the video. It's a rapid share link. And just hit the free button. Unless you have a premium account. I don't. And I gotta wait 0 0.5 minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, as you can see my minute or so is up. So now just Type in this code here, D I L S, and then just hit the download button. Okay, now as you can see, it's downloading, and it's done. So just X on out of that. Alright, so go to wherever you saved it to. Mine auto saves to my desktop. And you should see this zip file. It's called auto down. So what you can do is just right click on it and hit extract all. And it's this is gonna look slightly differently if you're on XP, but it gets the job done. Just hit extract. And now you should have another folder on your desktop. It's another folder called Auto Down, only this one's not zipped. So go into it and then go into the Auto Down folder and you'll see a whole bunch of files. Now the one that we want is right here. It's called Down and that is one that we're going to double click on. So Make sure that iTunes is closed before you do this, and double click on it. And, uh, hit run. Okay. Next out of the folder if you want. Okay, it says, this batch file will downgrade from 1.1.3 iPod Touch to an older firmware. It also works with 1.1.4. Please exit iTunes and kill iTunes Helper from the task manager. Now, we've already got iTunes down, so the next step is just... This is for a Windows only. I don't know how to do it on a Mac, just because I never use a Mac. But you're going to hit Control Alt Delete on your keyboard. And this will pull up on Vista if you're on XP. It probably won't. For my XP, it auto goes into Task Manager, but just hit ta Start Task Manager. And Task Manager will pull up. Now at the top, you can see a bunch of tabs hit the processes tab and then scroll down so it says kill iTunes helper so just scroll down through the list until you find here iTunes helper try to zoom in a little bit iTunes helper.exe just select it 
and then hit end process and then hit end process again okay and then you can just exit out of task manager so go back to the program and it says press any key to continue so just make sure your iPod is plugged into the USB iTunes is closed, you killed that and then just hit any key and it's going to do some stuff your iPod is going to go into recovery mode so it says wait for your iPod to show the connect to iTunes screen then hit enter so as you can see there's the connect to iTunes screen on my iPod so I'm just going to hit enter and the application is going to close and down here this might pull up, not pull up for you, it does for me, it says installing it says Apple Recovery DFU because that's a special mode on the iPod and it's been booted into DFU mode, that's what that program does so now iTunes isn't going to automatically recognize it so you have to just manually double click on it that's what killing the iTunes helper process does it's what makes iTunes pick it up, so just hit OK and then hold down shift and click on restore hold down shift and click the restore button and this dialog will pull up make it a little bigger and just navigate to wherever you've saved the uh, firmware files I will put them in the description of the video but there's my 1.1.1 uh, restore file, so I'm just going to click it and hit open and there you go, it should start downgrading and I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so once that finishes, you're going to get to this screen just hit setup, or if you want to stay on 1.1.1 then go ahead and just hit restore from back up above and select your iPod I don't want to, so I'm just going to hit setup as a new iPod continue and I'm going to set it not to sync my songs just because I don't have time and I have to make more videos on jailbreaking 1.1.4 just I'm going to name it uh, Cheeto and then just hit done and I don't know if you can see there but software version 1.1.1 and then I'll show you on the iPod Right to unlock. As you can see, I'm fully restored. And if I go general about, wait, can you see it? Probably not, but there it is, version 1.1.1. So, have fun. Questions, comments, just post it below and be on the lookout for my revised jailbreak videos coming out soon.